before I go any further, the poll on my 100 plus sub special has expired and the winner is my first sketchbook. So I'm going to be going through the first sketchbook I ever received. It's probably the most embarrassing option, but I, you guys picked it, so I'm going to do it. Since I am a college student and that when I go back to school, my schedule can be quite erratic, so that means my uploading schedule will also be erratic and inconsistent. I thought that I would give you an indication of when I am going back to school. So, you know, oh, yeah, I'm not, I'm going to do one video a week. So, here it is. This is back to school sketches where I draw various school school girls and school boys to let you guys know that I am going back to school. These are pretty easy videos to make in my opinion but regardless today's back to school sketch is going to be of Ryoko Matoi from Kill a Kill. This series also can show you guys what kind of anime I like. I know that some of you guys have been asking, oh yeah, what's your favorite anime? And one of my all-time favorite anime has to be Kill a Kill. I could watch that thing on repeat for 24 hours straight. So I definitely highly recommend Kill a Kill. Just don't watch it while your parents are home. Or at least when they're asleep. Now, a bit about Kill a Kill before I go into complete fangirl mode. Kill a Kill is a original TV anime developed by Studio Trigger. And by original anime, I mean, you know, it didn't have a manga as a source material to draw from. So this was all Studio Trigger. And it aired in Japan from October 2013 to March of 2014. Before being released in the UK and US on Viceland and Adult Swim's Toonami block, respectively, in 2015. Now, Kill a Kill was directed by Hiroyuki Amashi, written by Kazuki Nakashima. Now, if those names sound familiar, that's because these guys have worked on projects before. Specifically, their most popular is Gurren Lagann. So you might see a little bit of Gurren Lagann in Kill a Kill. And Ryuko Matoi is Kill a Kill's main character. I'm drawing her with kind of an angry expression because she is a bit of a punk. She always basically has a frown on her face and her eyes are very slanted because she's kind of just this, you know, oh, I'm so tough kind of person. She, she really is quite a punk. Um, she basically started beating up people when she was in middle school and trying to be tough and badass. And she is actually tough and badass. Well, she becomes that way. And her hair is very matted and, you know, it's kind of unkempt. She doesn't really care that much about her appearance as long as she gets a bath or showering and brushes her hair a little bit, she's good. That's actually kind of like me. I, I, I'm not big on doing my hair either. Really, even though she is kind of a punk and a delinquent, she really does have a kind heart underneath that all. You know, she actually saves her friend Mako a couple of times because Mako is pretty much the only one who's nice to her after kind of you know, talking down to the student council president, or like insulting her, pretty much. You know, like the student council president in Kill a Kill is basically the top dog of the school. And I really do love Kill a Kill's art style a lot. Yeah, you know, it takes influence from Western animation, you know, from some of the very cartoony movements and basically like characters increasing in size then decreasing, but. It all feels very natural because it's just that outlandish and crazy of a show. Alright, and the uniform I'm drawing her in isn't the uniform she's wearing in the first couple of episodes. 
Instead, it's Sunketsu, which she discovers after after going to her father's lab to try and find out who killed him. Sunketsu is a sentient high school uniform. I know that sounds weird, but yeah, Kill a Kill is super weird. It's super weird, and but it's hilarious. I'm also not going to try and draw her full body because when I usually draw characters from memory and, you know, from pictures and stuff, I'm usually quite a perfectionist, so I don't want you guys to see me sketching out the full body because I'm just going to erase it over and over again to try and get it just right and look ex almost exactly like how it is in the anime. Last but not least, this is something I've always wanted to describe Kill a Kill as, but I was afraid that people would think me too weird. So, here we go. If you want gender equality, you've got it in Kill a Kill. Everyone gets nude. Whatever your preference, it be lollies, it be high school girls, it be older ladies, it be older men, it be fat older men, it, it be muscular older men. Hmm. Oh yes, and it be sexy marching band women. Kill a kill has all. Everyone gets nude in Kill a Kill. So, praise Kill a Kill for its wonderful gender equality in the nude. And if that doesn't get you interested in Kill a Kill, I don't know what does. So, I really love Kill a Kill. I love its main character. And I love drawing this main character. Considering the art style is pretty cool and unique. I hope Dollhouse can, you know, be that unique. Right now, my current art style for it is a teeny bit bland, but I'll be sure to fix that once I get farther in development. Oh yeah, right, the drawing. Well, let's see. I'm just about done with this. I hope you guys enjoyed, and let me know what you guys think down in the comments section below.